We're very proud of the work that's here. All of this has been produced in the last two years in different courses, such as 2D design, color theory, painting one, painting two, sculpture, ceramics, a complete course of study. And uh, in this outer room, this is fine arts, and in the inner room we have graphic design, interior design, architecture, photography, technology. It's an entire representation of the uh, final year of those students' time with us. And from here, they use these pieces to form transfer portfolios that they show to other universities, colleges, and art schools. And they are traveling all over the United States. This is her painting. It recently won a big award at the Mayo Center for the Performing Arts. We had an exhibition with 50 pieces in it. And out of those 50 pieces, this was an award winner. I started with the um, complement color and I painted a base layer over everything um, and you can kind of see it peeking through slightly. We have some purples in here and some pinks and blues um, and then what you do is you layer kind of like a stippling on top um, and create kind of a moving effect to it. I always liked to draw, but I never thought that I was capable of doing this until I actually had the classes with the professors that I had. Um, and I really enjoyed doing it, and it took a long time, but it was definitely worth it. I think it turned out really well. He's really enjoyed the program, enjoyed working with all the different instructors. The fine art training here is, is the utmost. My name is Elian Schaefer, and I am the artist of this work. Um, let's see here, how did it start off with this work? It sort of just was out of my head, really. Um, the mountains don't even look much, like they do look like mountains, but they're more like in my head, like what I would perceive a mountain to look like. I didn't look at a reference at the time, and I was just going off of whatever I wanted to. And then a little kingdom sort of happened, and valleys sort of happened along the way, rivers. And even the clouds were just dots, and it's a lot of fun when I made this piece, though. It's probably one of my favorites. When we did the gallery showing, I was really shocked to learn that the curator of the MPAC chose uh, mine to be the Award of Merit. His comments were very kind. He said it was striking from far away, and up close, you can stare at it for hours which I will always remember. This is my last semester at CCM. Uh, I'm just finishing up and I'll be transferring to SCAD, the Savannah College of Art and Design in Georgia. Uh, I'll be there in the fall studying industrial design so I can hopefully continue to do things like this and maybe one day just design them for the street. So proud of you in this moment. Thank You've done so well. Um, tell us about your work. I originally wasn't sure what I was going to do for my project, but I decided to focus on like different insecurities and different things that I had and built from there. So those are supposed to represent like the old worshipped female bodies. And then um, I moved to the idealized body today where it's supposed to be like thin and 
bony kind of thing, and that's these pieces there. Um, so they're all ripped and fragile, broken. Um, and then I moved to the contemporary female, like myself, in um, the frame. It's supposed to represent like reality. The projection part also, it's supposed to be completely revealing ourselves and like with everything. That's why I chose technology too, because today it's like everything social media, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, just constantly posting things of yourself like Photoshop and everything like oh let me fix myself to look like this everybody had the same um, outfit where it's supposed to be white is supposed to be like the innocence um, where the ripped pants is supposed to correlate with the ripped pieces that I have on the table um, for that sense that they have the idealized part with them but they're still themselves so what's next well, after I graduate here at CCM in two weeks, I think already, um, I will be transferring to Rochester Institute of Technology in New York for my bachelor's in advertising photography. Congratulations.